Hey, all you crafty friends out there. I wanted to share with you our awesome membership club, Club Couture. If you haven't seen this before, you're going to want to watch and you're going to want to pay close attention because this is a really awesome new thing. Chalk Couture has had this for a few months now and it is so much fun to receive a new transfer each month in the mail. So let's see what's in this month. This is our June transfer. So you're going to receive this envelope in the mail. And when you open it up, there will be, let's make sure I'm not missing anything. <laughs> there will be chalk paste samples. Very cool. So there's three chalk paste samples that you'll receive. So we have Candy Apple Red, we have Peony, and we have Forget Me Not. And then the most exciting part, and look at, do not bend. You don't want to bend this. This is the important part. Let's open this and see how exciting is this. Oh, there's the pretty side. Okay, so we missed out on that. This is your beautiful envelope. So inside of this, look at how exciting this is. Here's our June transfer. This is the pinwheels. It has celebrate freedom. So you could do it celebrate for a celebration. You could do it freedom for like 4th of July or Canada Day or celebrate for a birthday any type of holiday. So these come in a little plastic sleeve. This is a size B transfer. You're gonna remove your transfer from the little plastic sleeve that it's in. And on the back, you will see that there's directions. So if you forget how to use this, you can always refer back to your directions. So save this. Our transfers are reusable. These are silk screen transfers. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the chalk paste and the transfer to make a beautiful sign, or you can use this on fabric with ink. Um, you could do a t-shirt, you could do towels, you could put this onto a mug, it's endless. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna cut your pieces apart. So there's cutting lines here. You'll see your little cutting lines and we can just cut these pieces apart. So first of all, what I wanna show you is that with each monthly transfer, you're gonna get directions that are gonna give you a suggested way of using them so that you can kind of have an idea of how, how you could put this together and then you can use your own creativity to do whatever you want, but it's gonna go step by step and it's gonna tell you the other things that you might need. For example, um, you would want to have um, a surface. You would want to have a squeegee and a fuzzing cloth and a permanent marker because you're gonna to wanna to put on the back side. you're gonna to wanna to either write the name of the transfer or you're gonna put an X so that you know not to put that back on the other side. One side is glossy and one side is a matte finish. I'll get to that part later. But you're gonna be able to go through here and it's gonna tell you step by step what to do to achieve this cute little sign. And this will be each month you'll, you will have this emailed to you. The directions on what to do will be emailed to you. And if you don't receive it, you can always contact me and I can send this to you. So the, the other thing that you're gonna notice when you sign up for Club Couture is that you will have the option to purchase the month before. And the, the month before was our May transfer with some really cute sunglasses and it said, happy summer or welcome summer. Let me think. Anyways, it was a summer one with cute, cute sunglasses. And the other thing that you're gonna have an option to do is to purchase the Kickstart kit. This is available only when you sign up for Club Couture. 
Now Club Couture, um, the price is $19.99 US dollars or $26.99 Canadian dollars. And it's free shipping for Club Couture. So that is a monthly charge. And you would sign up for um, a three month commitment in the beginning. And then after that, you could cancel if you wanted to. You will not be billed until the fifth of each month. And then your transfer will be mailed out. So when you sign up, you have the option to purchase the month before. If you purchase the month before transfer, if it's available, then you would pay the fee, $19.99 um, US dollars or $26.99 Canadian dollars. And there would be shipping on that one. When you purchase the previous month, there would be shipping. So that's an option to um, sign up and purchase the previous one. And then you get a transfer mailed out right away. The other option is to purchase the Kickstart kit so that you have everything to get started. And these are the things that are in the Kickstart kit. The Kickstart kit includes a small squeegee, a multi-tool. This is great to get little small areas such as the stick on the pinwheel or the little circle. Your small squeegee, you're gonna do the pinwheel part or the words. And the other thing that is in your Kickstart kit is a three ounce jar of, of the bright white chalk paste. And also in there is a board and base. This is a five by seven board and base. It has a slot. So this slides in there. You can do it horizontal and this sits on a shelf or you can do it vertical. So you can do it vertically or horizontally. And th this is one that you can wipe off. It's reusable and you can also chalk it on both sides. And then also in there are board erasers. These are great for removing the chalk paste and removing any ghosting that might occur. And then the most fabulous thing in this Kickstart kit is this beautiful Couture Gallery Board. It is a nine by 12 and this is a really nice surface. So for all of these, items here the couture gallery board the small squeegee the multi-tool three ounces of chalk paste the board and base and the board erasers the price is for us is 69.99 and canadian is 93.49 and of course you would have shipping and um, tax on that as well so those are options and it's really great to kind of if you haven't been doing Chalk Couture. This is a great way to get started. Um, try it out each month. See if you like it. Get your little starter kit so that you have a surface to chalk onto and you have some tools. And bright white is one of those colors. You're going to use this on a lot of the transfers. So I think what we're going to do today, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to um, use our board right here. Our gallery board and I'm going to go um, and just like this here we're going to make this little project we're going to go step by step and the first thing that I need to do is move let's move these guys out of the way so just let me note that the kickstart kit is only available when you very first sign up for Club Couture. So you can't go back and add it on later. That is something that you would have to um, order right then. And there is a value on that of, let's see, you are saving, okay, for the US one, the cost to you is $69.99. Their retail value is $76.94. So it's it's um, about nine or seven dollars savings to get that, and then for Canadian is ninety three forty nine, and the retail value is one hundred two. So it's about nine dollars um, savings if you buy it this way, rather than if you just order these off of the website. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to get started is we are going to need to get our board in front of us 
and we are going to need to cut our transfer apart. I'm going to put this here so that I can look at it and so I can teach you so we can go line by line on this and you will see what you would be doing. And I have one of my bright whites that I've already opened. I didn't want to open up a brand new jar. So I've stirred it up. You want your chalk paste to be the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. You're going to stir, stir, stir. And then your little samples, when we use them, we're going to put those onto either a plastic dish or a paper plate that's been coated. You don't want to put this onto a paper plate that is just a paper plate. It needs to have a coating because otherwise it's going to just absorb all of the moisture and dry it out. So we have that ready. And another thing that we need to have is a water bath because once we use the transfers, we need to put them into water. We don't want the chalk paste to dry on our transfers. So I have that ready. I have a fuzzing cloth, which this is a ch chalk couture one. You could just use a towel. You don't have to have the chalk couture one. You can use just a regular towel. You're gonna wanna have Lysol wipes or Clorox wipes, and you're gonna want to have paper towels. So I have those ready and that is because we're going to clean our transfers after with that. So I have these ready. I always need to have paper towels in between because I can get messy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to cut my transfers apart on the lines. Easier said than done, guys. <laughs> so some of you know that I struggle with cutting, I failed cutting in kindergarten because being left-handed was a huge challenge for me. My teachers were not nice about teaching me how to use scissors left-handed, so I did not learn how to cut properly until I worked at a fabric store, which was pretty hilarious because the way that I cut normally is backwards. That's how I learned to cut. So, I pulled out my scissors to cut my customer's fabric and my manager about fell on the floor. He was just so embarrassed and he said, honey, I'm going to teach you how to cut and he got me some left-handed scissors and he taught me how to cut properly. So that was when I was 18 years old, I learned how to cut the proper way. I never had a teacher that took the time to teach me, but it never stopped me. I learned how to do, I learned how to sew, I, I did so many things cutting backwards like this. I mean, this is how I cut. I'll show you. I'm not embarrassed about it, but that is the way that I learned to cut. But now I can cut the right way. So we're just going to cut all these guys apart. I usually do this before I start my video, but I wanted to show you from start to finish exactly how to do this and what you need to do. So we're just going to go step by step and we're going to clean our transfers after. And then I'm going to show you a couple of other projects that I made that are made with the pinwheels also. They are so versatile and you will learn when you start doing chalk couture that your creativity will grow and grow. You will start creating projects, mixing and matching your transfers. And before you know it, you're just gonna have a list of things to make that is a mile long, honestly. I do not have enough time in my lifetime to accomplish everything. So what we need to do now is you either need to write the name of the transfer on here or put an X on the back so that you know not to put your transfer back on this side. This is the mat side and if you put your transfer on the mat side then it will stick to it. It won't come come loose and you will be really sad. So don't do that. Okay we're not going to use this piece. We are going to put this to the side. We're going to we're going to do it just like in the little sample. We're going to do celebrate. So I want to show you how to achieve this. We're going to get all of our pieces here. 
going to turn them over and kind of lay them out. Celebrate's going to be down here. We're going to use this stick twice. We have different heights. This is the center part of the pinwheel. So this is going to be a solid color. This is going to be, let me look and see. This is going to be um, red. Okay, so they've done it red. So that's going to be red. And we're going to use this last. That's our little circle part. These guys are, let's see, the, the star is up there. The plaid is right here. And the stripe one is right here. So it's going to be like that. We're going to do our red first and kind of get our position. And then we will do our little sticks and we will do the second layer and we'll do celebrate very last. So celebrate, we can move out of the way. This is going to be our first placement. So when you do two layers, this isn't really two layers, it's kind of staggered. It's not on top of the other one. It is turned so that it makes a pinwheel. But you're gonna do this one first. This is the most open area, and that is what um, you're gonna look at. What's the most open area? I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna take my fuzzing cloth, and I am gonna put. I'm gonna put this to the side. We're gonna save these guys. I'm gonna take your transfer, and you're gonna put it onto your fuzzing towel. Move my scissors. I'm done with those, and you're gonna fuzz at once. You don't need to fuzz up more than that. This is a chalk couture um, surface. So we are going to, this one's gonna go about right here. That's probably good. It doesn't have to be exact. Pinwheels kind of turn, but we're gonna do that one and then we'll do the next one and then we'll do this one. So there are three different heights and I'm just looking at my, my directions here. My directions say prepare your board by wiping it clean of any debris and dust. I already did that. Prepare your transfer by removing it from the package and cut apart. Label the backer pa papers with a marker to correspond with the image. When you remove the backer sheet from the transfer screen, be sure to fuzz each element gently. Okay, so that's what I did. Position your transfer to the surface and prepare your chalkology paste by kneading the packet and then tear off the corner. So what you want to do is you want to go like this to mix it in there. It could become separated as it sits. So you're going to knead it, make sure that it is all mixed up. And we're going to use our, our candy apple red first. So I'm going to tear off the corner and I'm going to put some onto this plate and it's going to kind of disappear on there because it's red on red. I'm going to take my my small squeegee and I don't need a lot. I could actually probably put have squeeze this right onto my transfer. So we're going to do all three of these and we are going to do them quickly so that it doesn't dry on it. So you're going to pull your transfer and then you're going to place this in the next area here. So I kind of have my my other thing where the top the other pattern part where I wanted this to be. And you're always going to want to make sure that you get all of the air bubbles out of this. You can't do it when you're doing the second one, you really can't do it, so you're going to push down with your squeegee and kind of press out any of the air bubbles and then we're going to move this because the next one's going to be right here you're going to pull top to bottom or side to side okay so we want this one to be a little bit lower just like that and then I have enough on here. So you're basically, you're spreading your chalk paste on there and squeegeeing off the excess. The more you squeegee it off, the better it actually is. 
and then we're just going to put this excess back onto our plate right there. You're going to pull your transfer and this is going to go into our water bath. You want to make sure that you are putting these into water. That is just a little brownie pan that has water in it. And for sake of teaching, I'm going to clean this with a Clorox wipe. We're going to pretend that we only have this one small um, squeegee and our multi-tool. So you're just going to take a Clorox wipe. You're going to wipe it because this is water soluble. So wipe it and then take a paper towel and dry it. You're just going to get all of that off of there. Really easy like that. Okay, and, and I can see that the center one actually was um, white, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We changed it up a little bit. So what you need to do now is we need to dry this. You can use a hair dryer. You can walk away and let it dry on its own, or you can use a um, heat gun. That's what this is. It's an industrial heat gun gun from Uline. You're going to keep it moving. It's going to dry really quickly. So just keep your heat gun moving and then turn it to air so that it goes back down to room temperature. Okay, so then you're going to feel it. You're going to make sure it's dry and that it's not hot. Okay, did you see my little circle? It blew right into my water. <laughs> so I'm going to dry that for when drying on my paper towel so it's ready when we need to use it. It got the backer sheet a little bit wet, but it'll be fine. I'm going to set that to the side. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're making sure that this is cooled down. We're going to do our next layers. So let me look at how they have them. This one is the striped one. This one is stars. And this one is our buffalo plaid. Okay, so they have used forget-me-not. And we're going to tear the corner. You don't need a lot of it. You can save it. You can you can crimp, the, crimp this down and you can save some of it. So I'm going to just put this out here onto my paper plate. I'm going to squeeze some of that out. You're not going to need a ton. It really doesn't take that much. You could do a couple of projects with this. So we're going to take our buffalo plaid and we're going to fuzz this a couple of times. And that is what um, it will tell you that um, once you have When you, when you repeat, okay, so allow sufficient drying time, perfect. Okay, and in between, you let it dry like that, and then you're gonna fuzz this several times for the next layer because you don't want it to pull up the previous layer. So go ahead and fuzz it. I fuzz it six times. That's my magical number. And you can have just a regular towel that's been washed. This is our fuzzing cloth from from Chalk Couture, but you do not have to have that. And let me show you, you can kind of see the silk screen there. So these are adhesive on the back and there's a silk screen in them. That's what gives a nice crisp um, design. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this over this and you're gonna turn it until you don't see your red. You don't wanna see any red in there because you want to make sure that you're lined up and once you have it lined up, and I'm going to fold this corner under. It's going to make it easier to kind of get it started. You're going to press it down and get your air bubbles out. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our squeegee. We're going to take our forget-me-not. And we're going, to, we're going to spread our chalk paste. Just spreading it throughout the transfer, squeegee off the excess. I'm gonna put that back onto my plate. And if you make an oops, if you go off the side or anything, you can fix that. These are 
water soluble chalk paste. So if you make an oopsie, you're just gonna take your Clorox wipe and you're gonna fix it. So you're gonna put this into the water bath. You don't wanna let the chalk paste dry on your transfers. They're reusable and you need to take good care of them because if you let it dry on there, then it will shorten the life of your transfer and potentially won't work at all. So you're gonna take your next one and we're gonna go ahead and we are going to fuzz this six times. You're gonna set your backer sheet to the side. And we could choose a different color. I, I actually, um, I did that backwards because on the little instruction sheet, it shows to do this part white, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna be fine with this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn, turn, turn this. Maybe we should do this white. Um, that would be really cute. We can use our white chalk paste on this. You're gonna turn this until you don't see any of the red. See right here, you see a lot of the red and we don't wanna see the red. We're going to line it up and keep turning it until the red disappears. So, let's see, that's not quite right. So be patient. And you know what, it feels really sticky. We're gonna fuzz it two more times. It's feeling feeling like it might pull it up. So just be patient and get it lined up right. It's not a race. You just wanna do it right. And so you can see in there, you can, if you see red, then just turn it just a tiny bit. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press that down and let's use our bright white on this. So I'm just gonna spoon a little bit on there and I need my um, squeegee, but I do have, I have a multi-tool here that's clean. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab that. Multi-tool is great for a lot of things. You're just gonna have to squeegee off more because it's a smaller little squeegee. So it might just take a couple more swipes. That's all, no big deal. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this. And you're always gonna pull top to bottom or side to side. Cute, I like that. So you can do any color combination that you want. You do not have to do exactly like they have on here. I've kind of reversed things a little bit. You can do it however you want. And this needs to go into my water bath. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do this one with our, let's see, what color did they use? They used, they used white on this, but I actually think that the Forget Me Not Blue is gonna look really cute. So I'm peeling this off. I'm gonna fuzz this six times and we're gonna get it lined up. And we're gonna to try to remember how many. <laughs> Sometimes I just forget, so. All right, that was six or seven. You're gonna line it up just like we did before. So you're gonna, you're gonna look for the red underneath and then you're gonna turn it until you don't see any of the red. I'm gonna wipe off this multi-tool while it's still wet. We're gonna wipe that and dry it because we're gonna need that. We're gonna need that to do the center of, of the little pinwheels and the sticks. So if your chalk paste seems like it's too dry, that seems pretty dry. You can spray just a little squirt of water on there. Okay, there are times when it starts to dry. You just put just a tiny bit of water and then just mix it. That's all you need to do and it will work better for you. I've had the air conditioner on so the air has been blowing, blowing, blowing. So I'm just getting this mixed up much better. Okay, so use your judgment. If it seems like it's too too runny then or too dry, then just add a little bit of water. If it seems too runny, let it sit out and it will thicken up, I promise you. You can't ruin it. So if you added too much water, then just wait. It will thicken back up fairly quickly. Okay, we're gonna pull this and get it started on the top and then we're gonna pull straight down. Perfect. 
How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love these. I love these pinwheels, they are awesome. So now I need to clean this off because we're gonna do the sticks and we're gonna do the circle and it's really close to being done. So I got off most of the chalk paste. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it with my, my um, Clorox wipe and then I'm gonna get a new paper towel because the peony, and I dropped it in there. So if you do that, then you're gonna clean it again. No big deal, no big deal. Peony's a light color, so you wanna make sure that you have a completely clean squeegee. And we are pretending that these are the only two squeegees we have, even though I, you know I have a whole basket full. I'm gonna get this out of the way. And we need to dry this. So I'm going to grab my heat gun and we're gonna dry this. You're gonna make sure you're continually moving it. Now I have it on air. I'm gonna get it back down to room temperature. You don't wanna put your transfer onto a hot surface. So you're gonna feel it. You're gonna make sure that it's cool. Your hand is gonna help dissipate, dissipate the heat if it's hot. So my hand is taking some of the heat away. All right, make sure that you've kneaded this so that it's all mixed. And our little circle is right here. We're gonna do the little circles and then we're gonna do our little stems. This actually is not gonna be long enough. I have these a little bit too tall. Let's see, this one will fit here, this one will fit here. This one, I'm gonna to have to do it in two pieces if I wanted. Oh, theirs doesn't go to the bottom either. Okay, I am not gonna worry about that then. So, this is gonna go here. This one does go to the bottom, but it doesn't have to. We, well, we don't want them to be the same. We do want them to kind of be staggered. So I'm gonna use this one twice, uh, three times. One, two, three, we're gonna use this three times. All right, and this is gonna be the center. So we're gonna get our peony ready. Gonna just pull the little corner off. We're gonna squeeze some of this out here. It's not gonna take that much. You're gonna be surprised at how little it's actually gonna to take to do all of that. It's not gonna take that much, I promise. We're gonna have some leftover. So this is our little circle that goes in the center. Remember, I got it wet, so it's a little bit harder to get off of the backer. We're gonna fuzz this six times, and we're gonna use it quickly. So we're gonna do one, two, three. We're gonna do all of these. Gonna line this up. You can see through it. You can see exactly where it needs to be. I'm gonna fold my corner under so I can Pull that up and I can go ahead and get that loose so it's not stuck completely to there. I don't need very much. Okay, and I'm going to pull this and I'm going to get lined up for the next one. You have to work quickly. You don't want it to dry on your transfer. And oops, it's not quite, was not quite centered. Okay, next. All right, I'm gonna move that out of the way. I don't think we need that anymore. But isn't it great that they come with a little sample direction so that you can make it exactly like that or you can get an idea of how someone else would do it and then make your own thing. You do not have to do it like that. You can choose to do it however you want. So, we're gonna put this into our water bath. And now we're gonna do the stems. So we're, the stems are just going to be, this one's going to be shorter and that's okay. You are just going to put it, you want it to be lined up so that the circle is lined up because these ones are straight. On some other things that I'll show you that I've done, I've done them diagonal. So you're gonna take your backer sheet off and then you're gonna fuzz this six times and we're gonna work this one quickly too because it will dry on the transfer and we don't want that to happen. So 
So this can be just like this. It can line up right like that, exactly like that. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit of chalk paste and we're gonna quickly work this because we have to use this transfer three times. So we have to use it quickly so that the chalk paste doesn't dry on the transfer. We're gonna pull up, okay. And then we're gonna do the next one. And we're just trying to get this to line up with our dot is what we're trying to do, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and press that down. I'm gonna take my squeegee here. This is a multi-tool squeegee. Has the little small end on it. Okay, we're gonna pull this quickly. And then we're gonna do the next one. So you're just trying to line it up with the little dot because that is the center of this pinwheel. All right, getting my fingers a little dirty. Nothing new about that. I'm gonna go ahead and spread that. Check my bottom here on this. And then I'm gonna pull my transfer. And then, okay, see, I see that there's like a little dot there. Let's go over that one more time. It just didn't quite get all the way down there was a like a little lump there or something okay this is going to go into my water bath and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to i'm going to put this to the side here this can actually go into my water bath too to be washed we're done with this i can put this in the trash we're going to dry this and then we're going to do the word celebrate I just have it on here. You want to take your board back down to room temperature. Okay. All right. So it's a little bit hot. So let's just kind of let, let my hand take some of that temperature out. You don't want to put your transfer down onto a hot surface. This is what we're going to put here. We're going to put celebrate. We're going to use our our bright white and we're gonna use our this is our small squeegee and I'm gonna fold these under I like to fold my corners under on the larger pieces it just helps me so that I can remove it easier I'm gonna peel this off my backer sheet I'm gonna fuzz this six times Okay, six or seven. All right, gonna set this to the side. I don't need my, my fuzzing cloth anymore. And I am gonna just line this up right about like that. I want it to overlap. I'm trying to get it fairly even. You're gonna press out your air bubbles. You're gonna take your white chalk paste and just put some here and there. It's not gonna use as much as you think it would, so put less. Your chalk paste needs to be the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. When you open your white, you're gonna to wanna to add water, generally. I'm gonna tell you, it when you get it, it's thick. So take a peek at it and then start stirring and you're most likely gonna to have to add water. It's just one of those that gets thick. Okay, so let me go ahead and let's peel this side to side and let's see as we go, make sure that we have all of our chalk paste the way it's supposed to be on here and it is supposed to have all those little things where you see the board underneath okay it did it did lift this up don't worry about that don't stress okay it lifted up a little bit of the pink I'm going to show you how to fix that okay we're going to put this into our water bath and you can take a toothpick or you can take this is a stylus. I'm gonna take my little end of the stylus. I'm gonna dip it into my chalk paste 
and I'm going to fill in that area right there and it's fixed. So there we go. We're all done. This is going to go into my water bath and I'm going to show you how to wash those. So, so this is complete. We are all done with this. This, this can dry and then um, we can hang it on the wall and if we want to put another picture on it next month when we get our transfer, you can use your board erasers, um, get this wet and just start erasing and then wipe with paper towels and this will all come off. This is water soluble. If you want it to be forever, then you will seal it. So that's, that's the decision you have to make. Do you want to use this each month? Which I think that's a great idea that I'm going to start doing that, that each month I'm going to demo on either this or on my board and base, depending on what size the transfer is and how it works out. But that's my little demo for that. Let me set this to the side. I'm gonna show you a couple other um, signs that I made with the pinwheels. So this is one that I made earlier on last week. I used the Build-A-Bunnies, and then this is from Happy Easter, and I just combined things. So that's that's one of them. And then I did this on a video and I just added my little maple leaves to this. So this would be for Canada Day. So that's a great one for Canada Day. And then my sister was born on 4th of July. So I made this tonight on my life and I did happy birthday and I did red, white, and blue for her so that she can celebrate on her birthday. She can hang this on the wall and that would be really cute. Okay, so let me show you how to clean these. It's super easy, but it's so important. And I won't show you all of them because I don't need to. What I need to do is I need to show you the proper way to clean. You put this into a water bath. And if you don't have a water bath, you would want to immediately wipe with your Clorox or or Lysol wipes. So you, you put it in the water bath, swish it around, get some of the chalk paste off, okay? And then you're gonna put this onto a nonstick surface and you are going to wipe it with your Clorox wipe. You're gonna hold on to it so it doesn't scoot all over the place. You're gonna wipe the front, take your paper towel, and dry the front. You're gonna wipe underneath, you're gonna flip it over, and you're gonna wipe the back, okay? And then you can set this onto a paper towel and it can dry. However, if you are somewhere and you need to get these back onto the backer sheet right away, because sometimes you might be out at a make and take or at a friend's house, you're gonna gently wipe you're going to flip it over. You're going to flip it over. You're going to flip it over. <laughs> and then you're going to fill it. And it is sticky again. And it is dry. And it is ready for you to put the backer sheet back on. Now, remember, there's a glossy side. And there is a matte side. And we are going to put our transfer onto the glossy side. So the easiest way to do this is to put this onto it by holding it over the transfer and that will be closer than trying to move it all around. And I'm a little bit off, but it is good enough. So that is how you do all of your transfers. You're gonna get them all cleaned and get them all back onto the backer sheet and then you can put them back into your little plastic sleeve that has the name of it. It says Pinwheels June Club Couture. So that is how you're going to store these. There's other ways that people store them, but that is a good way. Your tools. Your tools you're going to put into the water bath or into your sink, and all you're going to do is rub. And it's clean. You're going to take your paper towel and you're going to either lay these out on a paper towel and let them just dry or you can wipe it and it's ready to put away. So that's how you're going to do that. 
Now, with your chalk paste, take care of your chalk paste. When you're done, this is a little stir stick that, that Chalk Couture makes, and these are great. You are going to go around the edges, scrape the edges because it tends to dry. You're gonna scrape the edges down. Then you're gonna put your, this will go in here, you'll wash it the same way, it's water soluble. You're gonna take a paper towel that is damp. So I cleaned my transfer, so this is damp. I'm gonna wipe the edge with this before I put the lid back on. You don't wanna put the lid back on if it's all gooey like that. You wanna make sure you get that off of there. And then another tip is to take your little spray bottle, do a little spritz of water in there. It helps it so that it doesn't get all thickened up. At, at that point, you can take your lid and put your lid on. So do those steps and you will be so much more happy because you won't be sitting there trying to get your lid off and it's all glued on because you got chalk paste on the lid and it will seal better so there won't get any air under there. So make sure you clean that before you put your lid on. I'm gonna clean all those in a moment. I never let them sit in there for long. As soon as I'm done with my tutorials or my lives, I clean all my transfers, I put them away. They last me a long time. That is what you need to do. If you don't do that, then they're not gonna last you that long. Corporate says they last eight to 12 times. Mine lasts a lot longer than that. I take really good care of them. I make sure I clean them. I make sure that if it's on a surface that's not chalk tour that I wax it. So. That is the important things. If you treat your product right, it will treat you right. All right, guys. Well, that is all that I have for you. I'm going to put all of the information in the um, heading of this tutorial. So if you want to click on it and you want to get started with this, then it's going to be really easy. You're just going to click on the link. It's going to take you directly to where you would add this to your cart and you can make the choice if you want to choose last month's as well and then if you want to add the um, startup kit so thank you so much for joining me i appreciate everybody watching i love doing this chalk couture has really changed my life a lot i have been crafting for 31 years now this is year 31 that i'm starting and it's crazy i signed up with chalk couture almost an entire year ago and I never ever thought that I would be doing what I'm doing today. It's it's just incredible. I love what I'm doing. I love teaching people. I love sharing the joy of this and how easy it is. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is just so simple and so fun. So thank you so much. If you have questions, just put them in the comments. I will go back and I will answer any questions that are there and I hope that you guys learn something and I hope that someday you will be able to have this joy also of making these fun products. Have a great night guys. I'll be talking with you again soon.